Hey guys, Smart Ninja 000 here. Today we're showing off this uh, new map I'm working on. It's a map making type of thing. Um, it's just going over real quick what I have already. So um, this map's called Warriors. It's a um, PvP map. Um, it's going to be meant for. Um, it's meant for the uh, Minecraft realms, and um, that's what it's being made for. Uh, it, the way it's going to work is really cool is it's a 1.13 uh, obviously but it's going to reintroduce 1.8 combat so that's cool um, now the big thing about this map the thing that's special the thing that makes it stand out is the fact that well that's what it is so there's uh, going to be three game modes you can do you can have standard where it's just uh, everyone goes into one room and then last person standing pretty basic Next one you have is also pretty basic. It's the exact same as that, except if you drop your sword, which right now the, the item will be destroyed. You'll activate an ability, um, which you will choose your ability um, before you start. There'll be like uh, speed boost, for example, probably knockback resistance for, and these are all short periods of time with cooldown, of course. Um, and probably a few other things. Um, maybe you'll get like, uh, Maybe you'll like regen or become invincible for like two seconds. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to think about it. All right, and then the last one is one in the quiver, uh, which everyone knows. And once you get to, I think I'll do 15 kills. Um, the game ends. Whoever the player who has 15 kills wins. Uh, so that's that. One in the quiver is pretty. Oops. Pretty basic. Um, but I might end up doing more games. Um, like more different game modes but I'm not sure at the moment I can't really think of any I would love to do some more but it's just supposed to feel more like you know classic just get teleported in a room and kill people and click fast and that sort of thing I might end up doing something um, with the um, like I'm not sure I'm not sure yet I might do something with the potions. Uh, a lot of people like the PvP where you get, what is it, you get speed potion I think it is. You get a speed potion. Um, and you get, what's the other one? You get another one. I think it's fire resistance, but that wouldn't really work for this map because I'm not going to give you fire aspect. And you get your inventory filled up with health potions. and you That could be interesting. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that, though. That one's no guarantee, but our guarantees are the three I just said. Now, the way this works is incredibly smart. Ninja zero, zero, zero. Um, it's done through a carrot on a stick. This is a carrot on a stick, guys. So when you block, you're actually changing the damage value of your carrot on the stick. It doesn't look perfect. This, I'll probably end up redoing the blocking a little bit. Maybe strain it out. Yeah, I think I'll probably just stray in now on your chest. It's a little bit leaning towards, kind of looks a little bit weird. I think if I strain it out, that should be fine. Uh, there's no way to change your player uh, sword thing unless you have a shield, um, which I, I guess works. I didn't want to use a shield. I could have easily just had it being a shield retextured, um, and then that even works for blocking. I mean, that's kind of obvious, but I thought, you know what, that's stupid, because then arrows will get bounced off, and I want to give you a bow. Also, that really kind of messes up one the quiver, so let's not do that, folks. Alright, so, anyways, let's go over a few basic things of how this is going to work. Um, it's pretty simple. We're going to have our options to... to sided in a block over there if it's one in the quiver you will be put in if it's not one in the quiver you will be forced as a spectator if it's running and that's the way that's going to work because one in the quiver you can uh if you get you can't get out in one in the quiver in the other ones you can get out so if it's running and there's uh which by the way is determined by that emerald block if it's an emerald block it's running if it's a redstone block it's not running um so yeah, that's how that works. I really like this blocking. Um, it took way too long to set this up. So that's probably my proudest thing. Uh, the way it works is really tricky. This is incredibly complicated, guys, actually. Uh, so we give you a special sword, which obviously can click incredibly fast. There's no cooldown if I were to get 
my good friend Creeper here. Um, you can even hear it doing the... I think it's actually... I think I'm... I don't think I'm hitting the cooldown, but yeah. Oh, got him. Um, but yeah. So it is perfect. Uh, if you're blocking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you... First off, I'm going to give you incredible haste. Therefore, you can't see your sword moving like this because that looks weird. Um, if I give you haste, uh, you'll see in a sec. You can't even see the clicking, but you can hear it. So, you know I'm clicking. Um, and then as soon as I... The haste is going to go away in a second. We just have to wait. There you go. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to give you weakness so you can't hit while you're blocking. Now as soon as you stop blocking, that will go away. I haven't set that up yet. I'm going to put that into a function. I'm going to move this into a function. Um, now this, this is, uh, this was a previous idea I had. I originally had a different idea for how I want to do this. So this will probably all be taken out. And that's pretty much it. Oh, this is the arena. Um, and that's what we're going to be working on in today's video. Well, a little bit in today's video. We're not really... There's only going to be one map for everything. I thought that just might be a little bit nicer. I might end up making more maps, which you can... Uh, which will be cloned into the location it needs to be. Um, but probably not. I also thought it might be a kind of cool idea if we had teams. Maybe that's an option uh, for the PvP stuff. Is you, Every player gets split into two teams. That could be a cool option, but I kind of like the 1v1, the free-for-all. I might end up adding teams. I mean, it wouldn't be too difficult to, you know, set up. So we'll have to see, though. Alright, so, yeah, I guess we can just, I mean, we can do a little bit of the map. So what I want the map to be, the theme is just going to be castle. I know, great theme. Thank you for leaving a like. Smash like rating on the video. Alright, so, I just lost my strong bear. I'll just search it up. There it is, okay. So yeah, I think we're just going to try and do like a castle-y theme. I, can't, I, really, I love my castle-y themes. Um, now this actually, this is all going to be set to grass, the ground is actually going to be where the airspace is and where a lot of these uh, blocks are. This just used to air out a central area, um, just so I know everything, so right dimensions, for example, this. I do also want to add, um, add in a anti-camp, so if you enter an area in the map where we think it's hard to see you, uh, we are going to automatically give you spectral effect for a few seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that up right now, actually. Um, and this will this will probably be one of the last things we do in the video. So we need to find a nice uh, colored glass. Now we just need to go into all the areas where you could stand that we think could be potentially uh, bad. So we'll put it at this layer. So we're just going to right around this edge is all going to be spectral all right something like this and what will happen is if you're standing on it i'll set that up real quick so after i finish this uh, you guys so you guys will be able to see it you'll just get a spectral effect and the reason for this is well anti-camping because camping in the back is obviously going to be something we don't want happening uh if you camp that's not exactly adding um, a good aspect so I'm gonna run uh, I'm gonna write like camping well, like warning players can see you through walls if you camp or something like that I'm not sure yet I'm not sure yet guys so yeah I'll just be some like this this is I'm just gonna cut till I finish it okay so now what we'll do is we're going to grab a command block we're going to just this is a really simple thing we're gonna do execute if at at an A if block and I believe it's four, are we at four right now so it'd be three probably um, and it's orange I think I used orange glass right run effect give a P um, and we want to give them glowing one second zero true okay wait what what are we looking at? We're looking at three. Okay, that is it running? I don't think it's running. Is 
There we go. So it doesn't show in your inventory for some reason, but there you go. Works perfectly. And then as soon as I leave, give it a second, we'll go away. That's perfect. I like that. I'm not even going to have it instantaneous. Uh, just because that adds a little bit less um, obvious where the glass is. I mean, obviously you guys all know where the glass is, but don't tell. I really like that a lot. I think that really works nicely because that will prevent campers uh, like hiding around the outsides and then the, uh, the every man for themselves and then come unclean. So that works nice. I think our last option, our last thing we should do is make it so if you get a kill, we want your health to refill instantly. And the reason behind that is an anti cleanup. Now this will be an option you'll be able to toggle. Actually, why don't I set that up real quick? So what I've been doing for my like on off things is the emerald and redstone block, and I think that just works. So um it's is the like a game running? Is the game running? If it's running, it's great. So heal heal on kill. So this is just a super simple switch we just need to set up. And I mean, these this is the type of nice little feature that you need. Because this is such a like generic type of thing, you know, I feel like this is great. So here we have heal on kill colon on. Heal on, kill, call it off. That should work. And then we just need to attach buttons to those. Oops. And this is kind of how I do my mapping. Then we do execute if block. It's negative 16, 6, negative 16, uh, emerald block uh, at, as at a scores. I think we have one called kill player equal one run effect give at a instant health one nine there we go as soon as you kill a player your health will regenerate let's just test this real quick we're going to teleport myself up into the air and we're going to scoreboard players set smart ninja zero kill player one yep there we go and i'll kill that Now, once I set this up into a um, into the function, I'm gonna also add a sound and a nice little action bar message and make this feel really cool. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. It's kind of short, just explaining. I love this. Tell me what your thoughts are. Would you like to see me maybe do this in a live stream or something? Leave a comment below. Smash that like rating button and be sure to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server. And that's that's a like. Oh bell. You can also click one of the cards on screen to go to there. So, thanks for watching again, guys, and I'll see you in one. Bye, guys.